Welcome. This is getting over it with Ben and Fonny. The most aggravating kind of game there ever is. We're about to start. Pirates probably gonna leave later on, but it's fine. We're gonna take the slow. We're gonna see how it goes. Pirate, help me, please. Please. Can't help you. It's not a two-player game. Arms faster. <clears throat> you need to There's chill. No there we go. Then starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you want some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be okay. here. All right, thanks for coming with me on this trip. Yeah, I'll Mike understand if you have to take better. a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002. Oh, Sexy Hiking. You know, this isn't even the hardest part. The author of that game was Jazzor, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of bee games. And bee games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Topical wireless. Is that right on the remote? Stupid cord in my way. Give me flat. You just lost a lot of progress. That's Dish a deep frustration. <laughs> a real punch in the gut. You need to take this one slow. Whoop. You gotta edge your way up there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is oh, you're helpless. Yeah, tell me about it. Wait, are you on Twitch? No, I'm recording. Oh, you're recording. recording. You want me to give you something to bleep out? Please no. Bleep. Or bleep out fiddlesticks every time I say fiddlesticks. Yeah, aren't you leaving? Yeah, so I've got to say fiddlesticks a bunch. Are you okay there, buddy? 
Are you sure you're gonna be okay alone? You don't need to like listen to some music in the background. Well, I guess you can't. Otherwise, your recording will pick it up. Think happy thoughts. Think of yesterday. <laughs> Bye bye. Okay, see ya. Play some music, some relaxing, chillax music. There we go, actually. Now I got better music. the escape key if you need to change the mouse sensitivity. Thanks, I didn't know that already. Oof, sorry about that. Keep on trying, don't let it get to you. that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. 
It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavour. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Go, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. No, 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 please, please. Please, please, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, up. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Back to music. Up, up. No. The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. Ugh. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. <laughs> Please, just be nice. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. We're, we're fine. We're, we're chill, we're chill. I feel within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. I'm sure I've gave this guy like three concussions by now. Like, I mean, if he doesn't have serious brain injury after this, I don't know what else. here for a moment. Okay, let me 
just chill here for a moment. Because that's... It's not going the greatest way I ever wanted it to go. But I mean, I'm up here. Oof. Come on. Uh, I mean... No! No! Come on. Get up! 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 No. You cannot now believe that you will ever feel better, but this is not true. You're sure to be happy again, and knowing this, truly believing it, will make you less miserable now. Abraham Lincoln. Mr. Abraham, I don't want your advice right now. Sit on the barrel. Sit on the barrel. On the barrel. Down. Probably that entire part that it before I just turned off all the music is probably going to be cut out because I'm pretty sure that song is copyrighted. And thanks a lot, Bennett. I don't want copyrighted music.
Come on. Get up. Whoop. No. Get up. Whoop. Up, 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 up. No, 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 no. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with, and in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. down rocket propeller mm. all right chat this is going to be the end of first episode because I hate it a lot I hate it too much <sighs> This game, frustrating. I hate it. Too. <laughs> I hate it. Well, hope you enjoyed me going to die.
And I might make another episode of Deltarune soon. Or another episode of this. But I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.